Hello and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hello. And on this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food exactly how most of them would do it. We've had a lot of experience in the past, three generations of Chinese takeaway owners teaching you exactly what you need to know. Yeah, keep watching. So today's video is actually a prep video. We're doing a new mini series, aren't we, Mum? Yes, we are going to do a mini series. <laughs> a mini series where we teach them what? How to do what? Cooking. Oh, look. Prep. <laughs> <laughs> prep. Because right. so many of you guys have asked for it, especially the garlic, how to do the noodles. So we just thought we'd do a mini series and chuck one of these videos up every now and then. Um, also, we get loads and loads of requests. By all means, keep them coming in, but bear in mind it might take a while to get round to them. We've had well over a thousand requests of over 120 different takeaway style dishes, and then there's more that aren't takeaway style as well. So we've got quite a lot to get through, but please keep the comments coming. Yes, please do. Yeah. We'll do our best. Yeah. So, garlic, one of my favorite things. If you have not seen garlic before, Here's some garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's nice. I love garlic. True story, when I was younger, sometimes now, I'll eat it. Yeah, I used to eat raw garlic. Mm. My dad used to eat raw garlic as well. It probably explains why I'm such a hit with the ladies. <laughs> it's quite bitter. It's isn't really bitter. It? Yeah. But I like it. Yeah, what you could do with raw garlic with some. Um, as a drink, raw garlic with honey, raw garlic hot water, drink. yeah. People drink that, oh my god, I can smell it. <laughs> See? Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to go brush my teeth, but we'll get on with this. Right, so this is literally all you need to make the puree. We've got five, uh, sorry, we've got three cloves here. But these are takeaway cloves, they're quite big. They're um, larger than the ones you'd get in Tesco's, but not not by double but close to so where you're going to use three of these the ones you get from tasco's you probably need about five yeah 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 then you're going to need about half a teaspoon of salt and oil now i can't tell you right off the top of my head how much oil you need that is sheerly dependent on how much garlic is actually in the end product because all you're trying to do is submerge the garlic and then you blend it so anywhere between 200 and 400 milliliters, I'd say. Could be more, it could even be less. It, it's different every time. So that's all you really need, and we'll show you what to do with the garlic. Right, so, Mum, what are you gonna do here? Well, just get the husk out a bit. Why are you taking the husks off? Because it's easier to smash it down. To separate them, it can be a bit hard sometimes. So you're basically just pounding the garlic. You need to take the hard bits off the bottom. Like, if we're going close to those bits. Yeah. Even though it's going in the blender, if you leave them on, you'll get like a grainy texture. And it'll be like you've gone down to the beach and you've got a mouthful of sand. Yeah? No? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I didn't know you were talking to me. I concentrate. Get very sticky though. Or well, what you could do is you can put some oil on your hand. Or just use gloves. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so when this is all done, this is probably the easiest bit of the lot. You just whack this into the blender. Right, okay, so we put the garlic into this kitchen aid blender. This is so new that we haven't even taken the tape off the bottom there. But anyway, okay. yeah, this isn't paid promotion. No, ingoda oil, hang on one second. I wish it was paid promotion. No, ingoda oil. 
And you want to not submerge Smally. it. There, well, there, 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 there. Yeah, half teaspoon of salt. That goes in as well. Okay. And you can always add oil in it halfway through, all right? Keep checking. All right, let's go. Tornado one, take off. Stay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is honestly one of the worst um, blenders we've used. It's not, it, if you tap it a little bit, it won't go. But then it, it doesn't click in very well. So there, won't work. There, works. Okay. You Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. You can give it a shake it about. So the garlic will drop down and get uh, blending. But we are quite used of that shaking. When you do it, be, uh, make sure you take, take care of it. Let's have a look. Let's open it up and have a look. How is that baby going? Oh, it's looking good. Let me see. Yes, yeah, that's good. That's really good. That's a really good cut. Yeah. One more blend. I think that should be all right now. Let's zoom in, see? Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. See, if you get a spoon, right. you just want to look. It's not as good as some other blender I have used. It's but not... if you want to carry on, but I don't think it will go any finer than that, no. to be honest. I'll give it a go and show you, OK? If you can get it finer, get it finer. But that is perfectly yeah. OK. Hey. Such an awful blender. And it's not cheap, this KitchenAid. No, it's not. Yeah, that's perfect. I, I can't really notice much of a difference, but yeah, yeah that's, that's all you need anyway. So all you have to do now is pot this up. So we're going to put it in this. It has to be bone dry. If it's not bone dry, it will go mouldy. If you got, if you're using something with a lid, which we suggest to do, we're just putting, we're just putting this into here for now, just to show you guys. Um, the lid also has to be dry, otherwise it will go mouldy. Spoon is good. Sometimes a knife is better. So you use the back of the knife and you really yeah. scrape it out. You see from that one that Mum did earlier, you've got nearly a teaspoon worth of garlic that you would have wa otherwise wasted. Go around the knife, be careful with the, the blade, okay? Yeah, you don't want to dull your blades. The second then, they're dull, yeah. they won't blend. They're not very friendly, but you have to be kind to them. <laughs> you've got to be kind to them. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Super. So now all you have to do is put um, cling film on the top of that and job is done. And when you want to use it, make sure your spoon have no water when you scoop it out to use. Make sure your, your spoon, whatever you use to scoop the garlic out, have to be dry. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your pace. Yeah. It will not keep as long as you would like. Yeah. Okay, so that was our first video for the prep. Um, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit the like button. Yes, or, or yeah. become a what? Well then, or become a pay patron, <laughs> a subscriber. Yeah, um, links are below. Thanks again, guys, and remember, happy cooking.